Uh, but uh, continuing with Watson, $230 million, fully guaranteed. You traded all those first-round picks. I think Kevin Stefanski has been guilty of trying to justify kind of the existence of one or both of those guys on his roster and the fact that they paid Watson all this money, the fact that they gave up all of this draft capital for him and has tailored game plans that put the quarterback on display when what the Browns really do well is frankly what the Steelers want to do well. They want games to be, or they should want games to be slobber knockers, Richie. They should want to say our defense is better than your defense. Our running game is better than your running game. We will get you into a gutter war and we will beat you. And too often they haven't done that because they feel like they have to put the ball in the quarterback's hands. You've got DTR. There are no such worries now. They're going to go out there, I think, and Stefanski's going to run the ball. He's going to let his defense do what they do. And I think that makes for a very tough proposition for the Steelers come Sunday. You know, I was saying it's similar to what you were thinking. I mean, yes, yeah, Stefanski, for some reason, wanted to throw the ball over the field. Uh, the last couple of times they played the Steelers, and if they would just run the ball down their throats, they might have won those games, especially if you have a running back like Nick Chubb that no one can stop unless he gets a knee injury. Uh, I didn't understand how many times. We're, we're going to go back a few years now where I think the Browns just deviated a little bit from what they should have done, and they might have won a couple of those games that went to the Steelers. Yeah, I mean, so people don't want to think about that, but yes, I mean, you're echoing that sentiment, and you're right, too. Uh, they have let games get away that they shouldn't. Here's the other thing, and I hate to do this, because this probably, like, hits closer to home, Richie. Seriously, look at how good the Browns' defense is. I know they've had a couple games, the Colts game, even this Ravens game, where they got strafed for pretty big point totals. But what makes people think, having seen the Steelers' offense overall in balance this year, and having maybe observed the Browns' defense in balance this year, that suddenly the Steelers are going to move the ball all over the place on these guys, or that they're even going to that they're even going to score enough points that this could technically be called a route. Don't don't be surprised if the Steelers don't even get past 13 in this game. In fact, I think there's a chance they don't get to 13. The Browns' defense has given up 240 yards a game total. They're giving up 91 yards a game. They're the number one uh, total defense, number six scoring defense, and Garrett's playing like a man with his hair on fire. I just. I guess I don't see it. I see another absolute knockdown, drag out game. The best thing you can say about it for the Steelers is Mike Tomlin wins a, a ridiculously disproportionate amount of one score football games, and that should confer an advantage to the Steelers. Yeah, I don't want the Steelers to look past this game and look past this quarterback because they've done it in years past and it didn't work out for them. I mean, uh, when the Ravens, the Ravens are a prime example when they were facing a third string quarterback who ended up being a third string quarterback for the Ravens, they lose. Um, so you would think that these are automatic wins, but they're not just because of the way these styles of these two teams play. All right, we got a ton of phone calls. We're taking your phone calls, 412-575-2600. When we come back in about two minutes, stay right there.